Alright, so here's an example of using this uh, menu builder. So you can see in this folder right now, by the way, there's one subfolder, old. This is actually the program that writes the code, but there's nothing else. So I've already launched the program. I'm going to execute it here to bring up this menu. And here's where you say, okay, this is my submenu one. I'm not, well, sorry, this is my submenu zero, which is off the main menu. It's going to be get. It's going to automatically grab the get from this, the sm0 underscore disappear. Um, and the first one's going to be file. So I mean, here's here's the defaults I have put in here just to show you can use ampersands to do hypercode. And this changes to say um, file menu. Um, and this is just putting in paths to icons, which uh, you can change later, since it's going to be dependent on which one. It, it doesn't make sense to have those piped in. Um, and I'm hit OK. Now you see some text here, but what actually happened? If we look in here, is it built this custom menu? It also built the subdirectory sm0, and in that it put in the get one. I'm sorry, sm0 and get, as well as the sm0 get sm1, because this is the sub menu under that menu. So it built these target labels, the actual menu itself. This is the one that launches those two menu. Well, that that one menu, and then we go up one more, and here's the custom menu. And now if I launch this, you'll see it pop up here. So this is where it's default to show. And this is the sub. So under the get, here's a file menu, and here were my options. Now, a cool part of this is, let's say, okay, I want to add one more to this menu. So I'm going to say, um, instead of file, it's going to be uh, show. Um, it's important to remember here, let's change this to, this is one more, something else, basically. And this could be, how did... This work. All right. Now I hit OK. Um, just just regard this for now. And actually, all I'm going to do is I'm going to reload. Right now, this is still the way it was because I haven't reloaded it. I'm going to come over here and reload it. And now, um, here's a second menu that shows up with these um, built into it. And if we look at the code, um, so under the SM0. So there's still this is still the same one get. Now actually, let's take a look at um, that one real quick. So it's building these dynamically, and if I remember right, it'll dedupe them automatically. It'll add to it um, if there's new ones, and I think it sorts it alphabetically. But it, it um, so you can keep adding to them. So it builds that one, and then under here you'll see it built the target labels um, and the actual menu for both of them, um, and if we go back to, we go up to this root folder and we look at this one, oh, sorry, let's say edit, um, it's writing this code as well. And so it's saying, it's, and it's using them in the include statement so it keeps it nice and tight and clean. Um, and it'll keep adding to it. So what, what I think the best to do is to build, start, use this, build the menu, and then later when you want to add one, create a copy of your menu somewhere else, but keep the folder structure, and so this way you can come in and you can add a new one, um, and then just replace those new target line, the include commands in the sub menus without overwriting your other menus that you would already worked on, because it would be overwriting them as well. Uh, but let's get back into, so let me close this, close this, um, I'm going to pop this open one more time, and now let's say, instead of get, it's going to be, I don't know, howdy, um, my howdy menu, and come over here, let's say, howdy beauty time, okay, run that, now when I reload, I'm going to reload that top menu there, now, notice I added the howdy, so there's the get and the howdy now, and this out of the sub menus. Uh, but you can basically keep building, <laughs> cranking out your code, and then go back in later and manually update update these icons to reflect certain icons. Uh, I just think it's it's done a lot of the work, and it keeps them, it keeps all of these files in a structured format. So under this SM0, now there's a SM0 get, an SM0 howdy under that, 
that has these, and we can keep adding to it. Thanks.